From worldtruth.tv, FPS Russia compound raid leaves 40 plus ATF FBI agents empty handed. And it wasn't enough that Kyle Myers, who is the face of FPS Russia, the guy with the fake Russian accent, yes. And as always, have a nice day. Dozens of federal agents scoured the property of YouTube celebrity FPS Russia Kyle Myers while searching for illegal explosives and possibly weapons, but left empty handed. I mean, it's not enough that this guy's partner was just killed. The noise made by popular YouTube channel FPS Russia, famous for destroying man-made mechanisms with the most advanced firearms, has finally been heard in federal quarters. On Wednesday, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms agents accompanied by FBI agents launched an operation at two locations in Georgia looking for illegal explosives allegedly used by FPS Russia to produce its YouTube clips. This is what your tax dollars are going to, people. Oh, someone's having a little too much fun. Nobody's complaining. Nobody's been hurt. But we've got a law on the books about illegal explosives, so we're going to raid your home with 40-plus agents. And of course, it's, it's not a home. It's a compound. The ATF suspected Kyle Myers, the iconic 26-year-old host of FPS Russia, of using explosives with malicious intent. OnlineAthens.com quoted ATF spokesperson Richard Coase as saying, Coase cited the cars, fridges, and other objects that were regularly blown up on Myers' channel. He's blowing up cars. He's blowing up fridges. You didn't mention the toilets. With nearly 4 million subscribers, FPS Russia is one of the most popular YouTube channels is dedicated solely to guns and shooting and explosions. Yeah. Anything else that can be shot, be it a World War II Soviet submachine gun, a 50 caliber sniper rifle, a flying drone, a rocket launcher, a tank, or a cannon, practically any weapon that's still functional. You can't have that. Federal agents and sheriff's officers raided the Georgia residence of the Myers family in Royston, as well as the 60-acre farm. Oh, it's a farm! <clears throat> you live on a farm? Well, the ATF might just come and raid your compound. Owned not by Kyle, but by his father, because that's where they have their, their testing area set up. No illegal explosives were found. And no arrests were made. But considering the unprecedented arsenal stocked at one of the locations, the agents considered confiscating Myers' weapons. Quote, the idea at one of the locations was to take firearms, but they did not do that, according to an ATF spokesperson. Like, we thought we might just steal your shit and then decided against it that there might be a worse shitstorm resulting from this. But it should be bad enough that they're harassing someone who's a perfectly peaceful entertainer, who's doing this, you know, this is his livelihood. And there's no compensation for this. And just so you know, uh, because his, his partner was killed by a single bullet wound to the head, the, the government has done nothing to, to, to get justice in that case, or has, has, has achieved nothing, and there's, there's an ongoing investigation. No names of possible suspects or even persons of interest in relating to the, the shooting of uh, Keith Richard Ratliff have been revealed, and yet you have them going and, and raiding and, and not taking anything the home of his business partner. So what, well, what, what alternative does, does the free market offer here at very least? Let's say that there was such an incident, that there, there was reasonable suspicion that a justice agency decided, hey, we're going to go in and we're going to have to scour someone's home. We have, uh, we have probable cause. We have a warrant from a judge. And, well, it wouldn't be a judge in this case. It would be from, from our counsel or our committee or, or, or one of our agents has decided that we have probable cause to go in. And when they go in, they say it's because there's a potential value here. They're doing a business analysis. The government does a how much can we save face and keep our racket going analysis like the mafia does. If it's a business, they go in with a business analysis that is what value can we be providing to our clients by searching this home versus what cost are we imposing on the person being investigated. And if it's, hey, we're going to have your privacy violated, we're going to go through all of your stuff, you would think maybe there would be some cause for compensation here. And if anything, Kyle Myers should certainly be compensated for the, not just everything he suffered from the government as a result of the killing of his partner, but from this raid. But fortunately, the internet free market is there to compensate. And FPS Russia will certainly be enjoying a continued increased view count on their YouTube channel. And uh, I wish Kyle Myers the best of luck. I hope we get a chance to collaborate one of these days.
did pretty well part of the way, but... So, wait, wait, so now you're comparing Mitt Romney to a Ford Focus. <laughs> it's hard to let go of fear, isn't it? You're becoming part of a system of material support for the actions of our military.